back something we had. Maybe we crossed paths someday a long time ago in the soul, mm -hmm. and we give back, and then we receive back what, what we get. And we don't know, but we know. Whoa! Stopped by my friend this morning and he told me something and I don't, in my heart I don't believe things that are coming of certain things and things are going to happen. I believe that we must go on and encourage people to, to go on and encourage the young ones and leave our knowledge as much as we can and learn from them also. But leave as much as we can. You know, so many of us, my father, mother, they, they went and they left, they took with them the language. Mm. And it, it left us very little bit to go on. We have two dance groups down here, all my grandchildren, I have seven grandchildren, they all sing and dance in two dance groups, which I'm really proud of because it, it takes a lot of commitment. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and our 17 year old, he's the one that's leading our dance group, our dance group, and there's another one in the Clinket dance group. It's an honor because they're growing up, they know their language and they're learning the songs, how to communicate, how to communicate and keep in contact with the Mother Earth, Awa, our mother. And she's all of our mother, you know, it doesn't matter where we go on there. She's, we could be harsh or it could not be harsh, you know, it could be hard here. Uh, we just try to teach them, not try to, but teach them about sharing and if you see somebody that needs help, help them. Mm -hmm. you, but not because you have to, because you want to, you know. And I think you know, it, it spreads. Some days when I need help like that, it, it, it comes because I really believe that when you're generous, it comes back to you. Yes. It's just like in the church, you know. Some people commit 10%. Yeah. My mom and dad did, and I always think, why? But it was not my question. That was their money. And their 10%, it, it went to the whole village. I say that it may be 50% of their money was shared all the time with people in our village, in our family. And I honor them because they were not, you know, I've seen my father and my mother. And not ever say, you got to give it back next week. And I never heard that, ever. And I honor it right into the, my time. Teach my grandchildren to do the same thing. Give because you want to, not because you have to. You have to. You can't take it out of your wallet or your purse without hurting that person while you're giving it to them. Don't give it to them. Let them, let them do what they want with it. And, you know, sometimes God works in amazing ways that $20 could turn into a million dollars. Who knows? You know? 
Mm -hmm. So we just say blessings of May. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we join the Mother Charles.